So welcome back to the channel. Um, I've been away for quite a while now. I've done a few videos here and there covering a few different things. But basically for the last six weeks, nearly seven weeks now I think it is, I've basically been away, um, you know, making way for the builders really. Because we've had a loft conversion in. And that's pretty much finished now. There's a few odds and ends to tie up. And in that time, I think I've dropped the ball quite a bit. A member of the Facebook group pointed out to me a rather interesting development and that development is to do with these old MXQ boxes yes the box that started this whole MXQ project now as far as I was aware I thought this was pretty much dead and the reason being was there was a major issue with the compatibility with parts of the f the actual hardware and the software and to do with uh, Librolec, Corolac and so on. Corolac team decided not to support the Asset of 5 going forward and Kazak moved away from that. I still believe Kazak is still involved somewhat with Corolac. And if you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, basically all this is to get the latest versions of Cody running on these old boxes. This box must be a good six years old now since it came out, which was back in 2014, something like that. Uh, 2013 even and since then really the development for this has been great. Kazak brought out a fantastic release of Libre for this and it was going so strong for many many years because basically it was limited to KitKat with the original firmware and obviously we can't run anything more than Cody 16 on it and Cody 16 is pretty outdated now you can't really do a lot with it. I still believe there's a few bits and pieces that are compatible with it but nothing too special you really need 17 or even you know the latest version of Cody 18 now this brings me on to a Facebook group member uh, as I mentioned before and he pointed out to me that this can run the latest version of Cody which is 18.1 RC1 release candidate 1 and I was thinking, no, no you can it really cannot. But I've been away a while, I've been away for a good six weeks. And apparently Alex Alec has been released for this and it brings us the latest version. So I'm not entirely sure what's happened. I'm going to have to dig a bit deeper. If you know at home, please tell me because I, I don't know. You know, I've, things have been that busy here. As well as that kids are still off on Easter. If you're in the UK, you know what I'm talking about. The kids are off, so it's pretty difficult to do this sort of thing. So I'm going to turn this on and show you exactly what I mean. So, just to, as well as that prove it's actually running on this. So it's dual booted at the moment. You'll see the SD card just in the slot here. Uh, so we've got Alex Alec. Originally, Alex Alec was actually a fork of Libre Alec, obviously. And it brought us a gaming system. I believe he's shifted away from that. And this is kind of where we got the idea from for a few different of our own developments. But he's moved away from that. This is base. This is kind of a slightly modified version of um, of Librelec to bring a few different features. But basically, it is just running Cody, and that's great to see. So this, if I use this mouse. go to system system information so I should I say I'll get it right eventually and it says here build Cody 18.2 release candidate 1 and this was compiled on the 1st of March that's probably why I missed it because I was in the thick of a lot of conversion so yeah there you have it it's the latest version of Cody Cody 18.2 and running on an MXQ box, which to me is fantastic, especially for you guys who have these boxes at home, sitting in a drawer somewhere, <clears throat> and maybe you're still even using it, I mean, there's, there's Cody 17 for it, and Cody 17 at the moment still runs perfectly fine on most things, um, but now we've seen the latest version, fantastic, and if you're wondering, well, how do I install this? Well, I've done so many different videos on how to dual boot, in the past there's really not much point in me repeating it over and over again although I believe I'll probably put together a video purely for that but if in the meantime you know kids are still off at the moment so I'm going to struggle to do it. I've got a B-Link um, review coming up and obviously time constraints um, kind of make it quite difficult to do all these videos but in the meantime check out the Coralec tutorial that will teach you how to do it and yeah and there you have it 
I'm not sure if it would update from Libra Rec, you might have to start fresh with this and just dual boot it. Uh, I'm not sure if this installs to internal, I don't know. Probably will if it's based, I'm, I'm assuming this is will be based on Kazak's original Libra Rec, so I'm pretty certain it probably will install to internal. Um, don't know, I haven't tried it myself, I've only just came across this. But yeah, so if you're watching Alex, I'm assuming that's your name, great work. Really great work. And we'll, of course, leave all the links in the description. Ow. Cut there, Matthew. Cut. Oh, God's sake.